there's an amazing resilience to commodities. If we had said that, you know, China's economy is going to be sputtering on the verge of, of a recession, actually, as you see today, you know, it has, is, is in the middle of deflation, then you would actually expect that commodities would be under severe strain, not, not what we're seeing right now, which is, you know, all-time record highs or close to, you know, recent, re recent highs with regards to many of these commodities. So I think that resilience is a real point towards supply and that constraint that has been sitting out there for a couple of years. On the resource equity side, you know, as I said, you know, the year, the, the first half of the year was kind of tough in terms of performance. It's starting to, you know, you're starting to see this re-rating uh, come through and that's the outperformance that we've seen really since, uh, since May. That's a part uh, related to the first check mark there talks about ongoing commitment to capital discipline, the return on capital that feeds into supply. It feeds into just, you know, good returns, good earnings, good expectations. And also we're just starting to see the benefits from the IRA and the Green New Deal and other incentives for renewables around the world. And that's, you know, coming through as well. As I said, in the beginning of my, my remarks, you know, the performance equity performance hasn't really reflected that, but as you look at into the second half of the year and into 2024, 2025, we're going to start to see a lot of those incentives starting to benefit the company, the companies that are that are involved in those activities.